Maxine Waters, man, what can you really say about Maxine Waters? I mean, she really, she really is the primary example of why we need term limits. I mean, she's, she's an example of a lot of things, man. She shows us that it really doesn't matter how below average a leftist is. They really can't rise to the top. I mean, shit, I should have been a leftist, man, but they can rise to the top and they can stay there forever. She also proves that race baiting virtue signaling liberals really are about as racist as it's possible to be, right? But she also makes us ask a pretty important question to our time. If it is said about white people, is it really racist at all? Now I want to get a little personal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri originally. My mother had 13 children. And I want you to know we were poor. We saw a lot of families suffer in St. Louis. We saw a lot of untimely and unnecessary deaths in St. Louis. Some of my best friends who didn't live too far from me, every member of the family died uh, because they ended up uh, with something that could have been cured at the time. Uh, but we did not have health care, et cetera, et cetera. I know and I understand what poverty is all about. I know and I understand racism. I know and I understand how we have been undermined, how we have been neglected, how we have struggled, the sacrifices that have been made by our forefathers and mothers, the civil rights movement and Black Lives Matter now and all of that. I am not about to go to Congress looking for white people to give me some perks so that I can get a better office and I can go on a vacation and I can do all that. Hell no. Dude, this lady, she talks about not wanting to accept the perks from white people, not looking for the perks from white people. I mean, can you even imagine if a white politician said that about anybody? I mean, they, that they wouldn't accept the perks from black people. They'd be gone. I mean, they'd be long gone. And what does that even mean? I mean, here's the thing. I, I'm not sure exactly what the perks of the job in Congress are. But I know that she must be getting quite a few perks from a lot of rich, powerful non-whites because she's been getting the perks. I mean, she's been a public servant since back when Joe Biden was still a segregationist. And now she lives in a giant mansion that's literally nowhere near her constituents, by the way. Her family members make millions and millions of dollars just helping her run for office every single time she runs for office. And she's done all this by literally being one of the world's dumbest humans. So without doubt, she's getting perks. I am there because I'm going to use my power and my influence to uplift my people. I'm going to use my power and my influence to do everything that I can to close this wealth gap. They have stolen from us. They have taken from us. We've not had the opportunities to gain wealth. And so... We have influence now. Don't come to me, big banks in America, telling me to protect you. I'm out to get you. I am out to make sure you stop robbing our communities. Don't come to me, all of the big corporations of America who've had influence in the Congress for far too many years. I'm a sister from South Central L.A. She says she's going to use her power and influence to uplift her people. And, and I promise you, when she says her people, she does not mean the American people. She says that she's going to use her power to close the wealth gap. But I mean, just look at her actions, man. Her actions have only grown the wealth gap between her and her people the entire time she's been in government. And here's the crazy thing, man. I mean, these people get so incredibly wealthy on basically 175 grand a year. A lot of them keeping two residences, one in Washington, one in their district or near it, nowhere near their district like Maxine. And no one ever questions it, man. I mean, it is truly, truly Insane. No one is even curious about the story, about how she made her money and how she is what she is. And honestly, I don't know how that's possible that more people don't question it, that her constituents don't hold her to account for. I mean, they just clap like a bunch of trained seals when she says, you know, they've stolen from us, they've taken from us, and we, we haven't had the opportunity. I mean, these people have no idea that she is they. I mean, she is a part of the theft. I mean, she's taken literally everything she could possibly carry from these people, but she gets away with it because she's a sister, she says. I mean, 
These people are pathetic. And I mean people like Maxine. They are pathetic. The only thing more pathetic than them are the rest of us that keep them there and allow them to stay there, man. It's pretty sick, but that's just my take, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already, be a part of our growth. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Do you know where I am right now? Maxine Waters' $6 million mansion. Do you know where I'm not right now? Maxine Waters District. Yep, that's right. Maxine does not live in her district.